Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at all of the Hot Wheels and Disney cars, all of that stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, I was originally going to split this up into two parts, um, but I was recording the other one um, like back in December when I still had all of it packaged and the I ran out of storage right as I was opening up the last car so I just decided to open them all up and here we are about two weeks, two or three weeks later, and we're just going to simply uh, take a look at them uh, all loose. So let's move these out of the way. Those will be last. Alright, first we're going to start it off with this thing. This I got in a 10-pack, a Hot Wheels 10-pack. Uh, I am yet, oh no, never mind. It does have the it's the steel flame. It does have the code in the bottom, or the number, the model on the bottom. A lot of the ones that came in the pack didn't. I had to look it up uh, to see what they were. Cool little flame design, uh, but it is one of two unlicensed models that I have that I got this year. Next one is a, another interesting one. This is obviously not a licensed model. This is the, let's see, where does it say something? Over there, all right. <clears throat> the, oh, come on, let's look. This is the Maelstrom. Sounds very German. Uh, interesting black and red color combination. Kind of looks like a Dioria. Diora, however you say that one, with some nice little red flames. Looking very cool. Now we start getting into the licensed stuff, at least I think we do. This came in the multi-pack, and I'm not 100% sure which uh, model it is, since it doesn't have anything on the base. Uh, see nothing there. Uh, I'm assuming it might be like a Honda or something. I'm not exactly uh, talented in um, identifying motorcycles, but this one actually does look pretty cool, even though I've never really collected motorcycles. And here's where we do get into the ones that I know are licensed, for sure. This is the Myers Manx. You know that because of Forza. Uh, see me at Myers Manx right there. And it's kind of like a uh, beach buggy, however you want to call it. This is a nice little gold one with a cool, cool little flame design and some... A logo on the front. I can't exactly tell what it's advertising because it's got the Myers logo straight smack in the middle of it, which is uh, freaking stupid. Next up, we have this one. This is the Ford panel. I want to say this one, the ones I had to look up because you can see it does not have anything on the base, and I actually couldn't find it online, so I went on the Hot Wheels subreddit and uh, looked it up. I know that this is a Ford, it's the Ford uh, delivery van, the 1932 Ford delivery van. Um, looking very nice in that gold color with the red line wheels. And then we have another Ford van. This is the, this is the Ford Angela. Um, I, I, don't know, I don't know how you say it, I want to say Angela, it might be something like that. But this one, in a very nice yellow color with monkey wrenches, with some kind of cool looking garage, of course, flames on it. Um, because this is a early 2000s Hot Wheels car, they all must have flames. And you have the hood that kind of opens right here, got a little, uh, it's kind of drag tuned right here, you can see nothing on the base either. <clears throat> Next up we got this thing. Um, of course, with more flame-ish designs, the a Woody. This is the well. There's no nothing on the bottom, but I'm assuming that this is a Woody. Um, obviously, even if they're not licensed, they're still really cool, and I do have a few other ones of this. Um, still pretty cool with the gold and black and the little um, like tiki-ish thing on the top. Looking very nice. This thing is very interesting. These are uh, all the cars that I've uh, shown so far were in the Hot Wheels 10 pack. 
this is the Dodge Neon um, tuned version. Can't believe. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, this is Dodge Neon tuned. It might not be. It's like the. Oh no, it's called like the Hard Noses or something like that. Uh, this one is a new casting for me. Uh, looking very cool, interesting um, design. Pit stop. With the scroll and all that. Looking pretty cool. Of course, uh, it's always some some kind of modified version. You can see it has the drag stuff right there. Next up is a very cool one. One of, the, one of my personal two major highlights of the 10 pack. This is the exclusive, of course it has flames, um, the very badass looking 1969 Dodge Charger. Um, I believe that's a 69, right? Alright, nice. Um, and kind of like a, a dark blue, almost purplish color, uh, with the silver flames. Um, it's very, very nice. Kind of wobbly, and of course has an opening hood. And my personal favorite of the 10 pack, this is the Chevy Fleet Line in black. Looking very, very cool. Um, dude, it's just kind of a, an interesting and really nice uh, model. This is, yeah, 1947 Chevy Fleet Line. You can see it right there. Looking very, very cool. <clears throat> All right, that ends the 10 pack. We are starting to get into the 2019 releases. This is the Datsun Fairlady 2000 in a red and white livery. Got this from friends um, as a gift. You can see the Datsun logo up there. Looking very, very nice, number two. Um, this is also a new model for me. But the next one is not. This is the very longly named Porsche Panamera Turbo S E Hybrid Sport Turismo, uh, and that's it. In a white color, um, the original one was in a light gray color, and I like that one a lot more uh, than this one, but it's still a very cool model um, that was released a few times um, since then. All right, here we have a interesting one. This is the Tomica Japan Toyota Taxi, or I believe it's the, yeah, this is the Japan Taxi. I wanted to say, yeah, it's a Toyota. Um, but this is the Tomica Olympics um, kind of promotional car. Uh, they got it from an aunt who was in vacation um, a few uh, weeks ago, or a few months ago, I should say at this point. There you can see in this cool little box, and open it up, and kind of sitting right in there. Very, very cool car. Next up, we got the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, also a Tomica release. Um, you can see right there the uh, yeah Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Um, Looking very in a very nice, stunning green color. Looking very, very cool. Here's the box. Um, this one's just the simple Atomica box. Let me get my recording thing set, set back up. It just fell off. It's been kind of on the edge to fit all the, uh, all the cars. Going back to Hot Wheels, this is the Lancia Stratos. A new model for me as well. And the very simple... Red uh, color with the gold wheels. Very, very cool. And this is a car that um, I actually, uh, if you might remember, I, I did review a car called the Hyundai Neos um, on my channel. Um, I got the, the that one and this next car uh, were from the same place. My parents went back and watched the video that I made. That I was gonna put in some video, I I won't. Um, but they came went back and watched that, called the place up and said, "Hey, do you still have these two cars?" Um, they did have them. Uh, the other car is this thing. This is the uh, let's see the Mercedes C Class in a very very cool light blue color, my personal favorite color. Um, when it comes to the Mercedes. 
um, which is, I just realized that, um, most of you probably don't know what that means, there is another Mercedes, um, that lo that's, like, a newer version, sort of, of this, that is in, the, like, a very similar paint job, and it's one of my personal favorites. This is also a very interesting one, an interesting story. This is the tuned Chevy Avalanche, um, and my parents got this for free, um, when they, uh, ordered a different car, they got this one instead, and then they just sent the other one over for free, so, we got this one, uh, for basically nothing, and it looks very nice with the front panel. Going back to 2019 Hot Wheels, this is the Range Rover Velar in silver, they just re-released it in black, and they're about to re-release it in red, so they are basically milking the hell out of this die cast. Uh, I can't blame them though, it's really, really nice, and as long as they got all the decals on the back, and the decals on the front, I am totally okay with it, as I, um, I've seen those pictures, and I even want to buy it again, even, uh, with already having this one right here. This is the last new uh, 2019 car for Hot Wheels. This is the Alpine A110, which just got released in Forza Horizon 4 as a 50% seasonal reward gift if you complete 50% of all the seasons. So, um, pretty hard to get if you're not, like, really playing, a really avid-ish player. Uh, I did obtain one. Um, looking very, very cool with the front and rear tempo since a solid S1 class car in Forza. The final Hot Wheels of this video, this is the Bling's Cadillac Escalade. It was only released once, um, and it, they did a very good job on it with the front and rear tampos and a very nice blue color. The final thing that is not a Disney car uh, today, this is the Matchbox 2011 Mini Cooper Countryman. Um, this, it has the rear tempos, the front tempos, um, and it just looks really, really nice with the wheels go along with it very, very well. Uh, and I've been looking for this thing for a really damn long time, um, or, or I've been wanting it to be released for a long time. And they finally made it this year. Alright, here we go with the Disney Cars stuff. This right here is Metallic Maryland. Um, I really was hoping that it would be the Chinese version when I first saw it. And it did look like the Chinese version at first. But upon further inspection, uh, the eyes look uh, like the Chinese version. But if you take a look at the... Uh, these things, they're a little bit blurry, so it is Thailand, although I could actually just look, yeah, made in Thailand, right there. Alright. Um, this one, I've been looking to finish off the metallic, um, cars for a long time. Got two of them for Christmas, just got two of them for my birthday, which I will have a video out on all of the cars I got for my birthday soon. I won't be unboxing them, I'll just showing them in the package, because there is a major heavyweight car that I will not be unboxing on camera because um, I really want to take my time to unbox them because they're, I really don't want to mess anything up. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Metallic Rex Reveler, another Metallic car. Uh, at this point, I am just missing Metallic Shannon Spokes and Metallic Cal Weathers. Um, so hopefully getting those soon. Two of the cars that I don't have will be in the birthday video. Um, this one looks very nice as well, of course, Thailand. Um, and it's always good to get a new metallic piston cup racer. Speaking of the piston cup, here we have Ernest B. Rakes, the Leakless Crew Chief, um, along with the Leakless Crew over here. Any leakless pities, got the wide one, the uh, short one, and the tall one. And they all look very cool. It's always very nice to have another uh, full team set, no matter even if they're rare or not, although most of them uh, are. 
Moving into the 2020, no, the 2019 cars, although this one, I kind of want to count as 2020. Uh, it was one of the last uh, ones released in 2019. This is Heyday Junior Moon, and this is the second time he has been released, but the first time that he was, they got him correct. The original one was just black, didn't have any decals, no number on him, no nothing. This guy, however, has not been released before. This is Eli Turnpike in a very, very nice uh, paint job. Very cool model. Um, and obviously, whenever you get a new um, uh, old-time racer, they are obviously, obviously very cool. Now, let's see the license plate right there. Oh, and that, 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 that looks cool. Now they kind of stuck the license plate out. Um, Eli Turnpike. And this is just a very cool car overall. Sticking with the old racers theme, here we have Randy Lawson, um, who Jackson Storm took his paint job. Of course, this guy was in the same case as Shiny Wax Tractor, see you later. Um, and Kurt, who I already reviewed, uh, and a few other very cool diecasts, such as Corrected Chris Rovstopsky and the Corrected Terry Cargas. Of course, there's not much to say about him when you're trying to make this video as fast as possible. Um, other than he has lots of really cool uh, decals, and he's just straight up really cool. Trainees are one of the best, as I mentioned in my Kurt video. Um, and we have another one of them here. This is Ronald, and the light green trainee who should have been released um, instead of Tom W., um, but for some reason, Mattel decided to release Tom W and wait uh, to release Ronald, even though Tom W didn't even appear. In, well, he did appear, but it wasn't like a major appearance. He was like, you had to like really, really zoom in, and he wasn't even like he didn't even have his tires on. He was like up on a, um, he was getting like repairs and stuff. Um, but Ronald did even have a few lines in the movie, um, and he has a very. Um, new expression for trainees. The second trainee is Junie, um, who mentioned in the Kurt video, who is the really dark uh, purple trainee, looking very, very cool with the gray and all that. Uh, I mean, obviously, the trainees are all green, uh, but the expression also very really cool, and there's just really not much you can say about the trainees. When you're looking at them, other than like they're just straight up really cool. Here we got some Van Den Kerr, the guys that get from those same friends. Um, who it's uh, really cool to see some of the older rusty cars with like missing fenders and all that. Um, expression those looks great on this guy. Um, the rust up there looks very um satisfactory, I'd say. Hmm. So recently, we just saw the unveiling of Jonas Carvers. If you haven't seen that, check out my newest video besides this one, my last video. Um, and we also just recently saw the release of Noah Gokek. Um, but before that, we went a good six months without any new next gens. Um, but that new next gen we got, um, like right before that six month window, was this guy, George Newwin. Or, um, as commonly referred to as the Next Gen Leak Less, because um, uh, his name is only unveiled via a Atomica version of him. But his official name is George Newwin. And, of course, um, he's got, like, the fade, the um, logo up there, the um, logo down there. Uh, overall, a very cool one. And I'm actually surprised that they're, like, they held off for so long. Uh, to make some of the new ones. Of course, no contingency sponsors. New kind of a new thing. Speaking of next gens, so we got one of these here. Um, this is the first next gen tractor that I got. I got two more yesterday for my birthday. Um, you have the. I mean, tractors. Are all, I think all the tractors are really cool. Shiny wax. Um, uh, probably my. Favorite car of the of his case, actually by far my favorite car of the case. 
Um, and hopefully we will get some more track releases soon. We have plenty of prototype images, but they're not on the case lists. We have the the Jonas Carver's case, and then a, a case after that. But there's no tractors listed. Here is the king, except he has just been involved in a terrible accident. Um, one of my least favorite things about these kind of models is that they're paint. It's always like really rough and the. Uh, dry, which really irritates, uh, irritates me, but of course, uh, this guy, uh, it's either he gets super rare or he's semi-rare, which, um, he is currently semi-rare, if you want him, but he is very cool. Alright, so we got a heavyweight coming in, this is Gail Beaufort. Uh, let me just move my camera. Uh, this, of course, is Gail Fort Jackson Storms Hauler. She, I believe it's she, um, doesn't even feel like a Mattel die cast. Uh, it more or less feels like the Disney Store version, uh, except a little bit smaller. Here off the back here, uh, it does come open. If I can kind of do this with one hand. There we go. Kind of, yeah, there we go. Right there. And then it kind of unfolds, and then there you can see, if I had the flash on, you can kind of see it better, but there is, like, a little design in there, like, showing the rest of the hauler. But it's a bit hard to see since it's, like, uh, it's 6, it's 45, and it's, and it is pitch black here in Texas. Alright, so now we shall move on to the final five die casts that you kind of saw at the beginning of this video, starting off, uh, let's, let's keep on the topic of haulers, and start it off with this guy, the Mood Springs Cab, the Mood Springs Hauler was released in uh, about 2010, and I did have that one when I was a uh, younger kid, of course, the mirrors broke off, I sold it, I haven't gotten one back, but this guy is different from that, he, um, this guy is a cancelled release, um, and he has a brand new expression. The expression is similar to the old one, but it is in fact different and it does have like uh, a, a, Like an open mouth and of course as always there's no hook on the back This guy is really awesome Secondly, let's go with this guy. This is a steel blue Jackson storm times two um, they accidentally sent my mom two of them, and I think I really lucked out because you can see this one, okay, this one right here is a prototype version, of course you have the, uh, prototype number on there, and nothing else is different, but when you have the other one, you can see that it has no prototype number, and it has blue wheels, while the other one doesn't. So, I technically got a prototype version of this, and a store release version of this, and they're both actually pretty different, which is very, very cool. Next up, we got the only, uh, can only, uh, Chinese car that I got. There's five of them, two of them coming up. Um, that actually had some kind of an error. Um... I was really surprised that none of them had even a few defects. I mean, the Mood Springs cab has like a few chips here and there. They might have a few chips here and there, but um, besides that, not really nothing. This is the only guy that has um, kind of a major error. Of course, Bunny Lightning McQueen, very interesting. Um, and I'm not even sure what they're going to do with this. Maybe in Easter Part 2. But if you notice, he... Um, looks very cool, except for when you turn this car to the back. And that is when you notice that there's literally zero decals on the back, except for that part. And is there supposed to be decals? Well, I looked at somebody else who reviewed this video, and yes, it is supposed to have decals back here. So that's a really stupid, dumb decision uh, moment right there. Uh, but, I mean, it's still, like, a, a, just a really cool car. Going back to the Carter pin in Thomasville, we have, um, Emily Engine. Um, of course, Emily Engine, 
at this point is probably going to be cancelled until further notice. I'm sure that we'll eventually get her. Um, we have the code on the back, uh, right about there. You can kind of see it right there, 132. Um, and of course, this one is made in China, so we will not be getting a Chinese... Oh, well, I have the Chinese version of her. If she is to be um, released, she will most likely be released in Thailand. But uh, this is also a very, very cool looking die cast. And finally, my holy grail... Well, my holy grail of uncancelled releases, or my holy grail of releases that aren't... Or, or, or of tiny cars... This right here is Bob Motor. Now, he kind of goes with Max Setcar. Um, and he was on eBay from China for about $30. Um, and I guess they, um, I saw the link I sent to them and bought it. Because this guy, that he is one of the most simple, yet I just think he looks so cool. Might, if he was released, like, every year as a single, that would be... Um, that would take it away, but the mere fact that about how how rare this guy is is just just makes him so much cooler. So that is about it for this video on the Christmas scores. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.